Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. In the previous article, we introduced Gemma, Google's latest open source language model that brought us impressive capabilities with inevitable limitations at a lower cost. We saw how we explore its power in orchestrating multiple agents through the AutoGen framework using a remote API platform, open routers, inference service. Now we are turning our attention to deploying Gemma locally on computational hardware or servers, giving us full control without relying on paid services and protect our private data as well. There are a couple of efficient local inference methods uh, in the open source community. For example, llama.cpp for lower level deployment, or llama which provide a decent rapid server and Hacking Faces Transformers for rich model resources. As an Autogen application developer, we are now more familiar with its conversible patterns and tools under GPT models. However, when starting a go-to-market project under, under this framework, the long-term service reliability, the cost, and the maintainability are all the risks if the language model inference is run by third party remotely. Therefore, more Autogen program owners are seeking open source language models with local deployment and with an additional considerations of a balance between model size and its performance. As a newly released open source language model from Google, Gemma 7B has shown its evaluation scores on various benchmark that defeat Llama 2. 7B and 13B and even slightly overcomes Mistral 7B, which is standing on the top of 7B models practically. With that in mind, let's move the AutoGen application totally to the local environment with Gemma models. In this video, we will try Olama as an inference tool to run Gemma in Jupyter Notebooks on Kaggle with a free tier account, which could simulate a local double T4 GPU environment for free. Olama is a platform that allows you to run large language models on your own devices. Its inference technique makes models extremely efficient in speed and resource demand. The main idea of using Olama is to run a local Olama server and then in Autogen app, every agent needs to call OpenAI compatible API to the server for chat completion tasks. Without further ado, let's walk through the code. To run an Olama server, you can either follow the instruction from its main page to download and install in a decent visualization, or you can run it super easily in a Python program, which we are diving into today. Firstly, we should install the Olama with this one line script. Next, run the Olama service in the background. Here we should understand that without exclusive user access, we cannot actually run a program in a background of a Kaggle's notebook environment. Uh, if you are running the code on a real local machine, you can directly call Olama command, Olama serve in your terminal. But if you are using Colab or Kaggle notebook, use subprocess instead. Here you should use the subprocess popen method to active Olama serve command in the background. Okay, the server is successfully running. And then we should pull the Gemma 7B model from the Olama platform, which you can either provide Gemma 7B specifically, or you just use the Gemma that is the indicate the 7B model uh, in default. You can also replace the 7B with 2B if you want to pull the Gemma 2B model. Okay, the pooling process has been successfully complete. You can see the success here that shows all the process of downloading and server setup has been successfully done. Okay, moving forward, we are going to set up the agents. Before that, we should set up the LLM configuration for Autogen first. 
install or upgrade the AutoGen package here. Define the environment variable for the config list and make sure the model name is the same as the one you pull from Olama. Here we use the same name, Gemma 7B. Next, uh, create the config LLM config for building agents and make sure that you provide the base URL that directs to your local host with the default port that provided by Olama local server. As we normally do, we are going to create the same group chat app that involves two AI agent, one AI orchestrator, aiming to generate a refined blog post that following the speaker sequence as this chart that the user proxy provided the task to write a blog post and the writer provide the first initial version of the blog post. The edit will review the blog post that provided by uh, the writer and give the change commands. And then the writer will use that commands to uh, do an improvement of its original blog post for a revised version. To achieve that, we need to firstly create three agents, user proxy, writer, and editor. As described in each one's system message and description, the agents are prompt with their roles and jobs, and so is the orchestrator. Here, I ask the writer to write a blog post and open to receive the comments and willing to make changes in its original article. And for the editor, it's good at reviewing blog post and gave change recommendations. Every time he received a blog post from uh, the writer. And we need to set up the group chat to gathering all these agents and set up the orchestrator, also named as manager, the group chat manager for manage the entire group chat. As the last step, you can assign the blog writing task that generate a 100 word of blog post about traveling in Boho Island. Let's do this. It will print the system message from Olama system. And now the writer makes a first version of the blog post, Island Dreams, exploring the enchanted island of Boho. The editor make a revised recommendation to make this blog post more viral on, so on social media, to add hashtags, increase the visual appeal, And then the writer gave a revised blog post based on the recommendation from editor and gave the hashtags. Okay, the execution process is quite smooth and it took only one minute to complete the entire chat since the Olama loads the original Gemma 7B IT without intensive quantization. The generation quality remains the same as in our last tutorial. In this test, the, the orchestrator can still properly select the speakers in the sequence of writer, editor, and writer as well. To summarize, the most impressive advantage of using Olama for Gemma models is its resource demand. I activate two T4 GPU with 15 gigabytes for each on the Kaggle notebook to mitigate the risks of running a 7B model. However, the application only required 
However, the application only required around 3 gigabytes for each GPU. So totally 7 gigabytes to run Gemma 7B model locally. That means you can even use a much more entry-level GPU to run Gemma 7B for AutoGen applications. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.